Hello travelers, I'm Chris. Welcome to Lore Spire. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to defeat True Soul Nier and get his head easily even on solo tactician mode. This of course can be adapted for non-tactician and for non-solo playthroughs, but it is quite easy, does take a little bit of time. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is come up here and destroy these rocks just as you normally would. Now, whenever you go to blow up the explosives, climb up this ladder. Okay, it's uh, definitely better in my opinion to start off up here, especially for this strategy. Now we're gonna go ahead and blow up the explosives. Okay, now even though it shows us down here in the cutscene, whenever we come out of the cutscene, we will actually be back up on the wall. Now, whenever you come here to making choices, there are two ways that you can go. You can either side with Nier, and if you're going to do that, just do it the whole way through. And then it'll be you and Nier versus all the dwarves. That's the easiest way to do it, because you can just run away and let the dwarves kill Nier. Then you can return and kill the dwarves. Or if you want the experience for killing Nier, and you don't mind it taking a little bit longer... You can side against Nier, and then it'll be you versus Nier and all the dwarves. For now here, we're just going to side with him. We'll say that they were lazy, they didn't do their job. And then here, we're going to choose if you insist and agree to kill the dwarves for Nier. Okay, now you'll see that Nier is actually our ally in this fight. And we're going to Misty Step right on up here. And then we're going to hide, and we're going to run away. And this will put Nier versus all of the dwarves. Now, if Nier is against you, you still do the exact same thing. It's just that you'll have to kill Nier as well whenever you come back, uh, which takes a little bit more time. And you will need pretty good DPS for that. So this is just the simplest way to do it, whether you have good DPS or not. Okay, now, you don't actually have to stay in combat for uh, near to die so we're just going to choose to go ahead and hide again out of sight, out of and we're going to dash away all right now as soon as you're out of combat all you have to do is return to the end of the catwalk heal up if you need to then once you get up here make sure that you're in sneak mode then enter turn-based mode and from here you can either DPS the dwarves down with your ranged attacks if you have good DPS. If not, you'll want a good strong stock of Arrows of Roaring Thunder because you can yeet almost all of these dwarves off of here uh, if you have to. Now, obviously it's going to depend on where they're at. So you might have to enter turn-based mode and come out a time or two in order to get them into the right spot but you can use the arrows of Roaring Thunder to just yeet them off and still get the XP if you do not have good ranged DPS. All right, now we'll go ahead and hide. What path lies before me? And basically this is all you're gonna do. You're gonna run up there, you're going to either yeet an enemy or kill an enemy, and then you're going to hide and run away. It takes a little bit of time, but I promise you I did this live on stream for the first time and I've done it many times since then. It does work. And you can can kill pretty much every dwarf like this until you can get the Nier's head. Anyways, I hope that this helped you out. If it did, give us a like and a sub. This has been Chris with Lorespire. Be well, my friends.